This video has been a long time in the making. I really should have completed this series about like two or three months ago, but I'm still on level three of my complete Python project. I apologize, but really ultimately laziness and busyness and all this other stuff have come through and I have hadn't have as much time to complete this project. In level three, I will be learning the Pygame module for Python for the sole reason of creating a front end game, very basic game, for my Trojan, which will be my last project in this complete Python project for cybersecurity series. The goals here are seriously to just figure out how to work with objects and build a screen so then I can have some sort of idea of what I want to do with my Trojan. I seriously have no idea what I want to do with the game itself, but maybe this Pygame Python course on Pluralsight will give me just a little bit of inspiration for some sort of game. So this is level three. Let's get started with the Pygame module, which I'll be learning on Pluralsight. To learning we go. Okay, so I have about halfway through this Pygame module, and I have a little bit of a screen done, or a little game that's kind of in the making that this author is doing. And I have to somehow find out a way that I'm going to be able to do this by myself, which is a little confusing, because I'm not gonna lie, the classes and all of this stuff, putting this together is a bit confusing, but I shall progress through the game, and I'll, I'll show you the game that we're creating once done. So let's continue to keep going and moving forward. I'm more than halfway through the Pi game module, and there is something I'm very confused on and how this author is structuring the game. I'm sure it makes sense to somebody who's done this before, but I don't really make games. I'm just making them for fun. If we transition to the computer here, this is like how many files we have and it's not a big deal, but what I'm really not understanding is the whole structure, like why you have to create all of these different files to do different things. I guess it's for organization purposes, but it makes the game super confusing to me. And to add on to that, if we go to something like Breakout, and there's just a whole bunch of, of stuff, I guess you could say, that I just don't really, and I'm not really getting it. He goes really quick in terms of how he's doing it, which I don't necessarily love, but it's what I have to go through. Um, so I'm going to continue to work through the, this Pi game module, hopefully get this done, so then we can finally build a Trojan, which I'm probably going to have to use Stack Overflow for anyway, so it doesn't really matter but we'll get the game logistics down at least, kind of, maybe. I don't know. After many dreaded hours of finally understanding not really what's going on, I have the game completed that, uh, that was done on this plural site pie, pie game course. I'll just go ahead and showcase it because why not? This has basically been a failure of a level, but I'm excited for Trojan game. So let's go ahead and go on to this and I'll just show you the game really briefly. Brief overview of the game. So basically we have all of our assets here, which include all of our files, and then we have our levels with two levels right now. And this is a basic game. We have our bricks, which basically is our brick game and um, the game is called Breakout. We have our scenes, and of course then we have just basic things like high score ball. So if we go ahead and run the game Breakout right here, we should be able to get a game that pops up. And we have our main menu, and if we just click F1, and we click our mouse to start, we go ahead and have the game getting started. And I suck at this game. You plug in your high score, and 
it, it does come up with an error, but if let's say we ran the game again, and if we go to F2, basically the game was supposed to show us the high score and it didn't. So obviously I have some things wrong here, but that's the basic gist of the game. It works to some extent. Really, for the Trojan, I'm gonna have to put this in a .exe format so that you don't have to go into Python. Obviously, no one's gonna download this game if it's like this. So that's the basic, basic gist of the game. You click the mouse and it's it's on there. You know, you're just moving forward and you're just getting your game on. <laughs> okay, so that's that's about it. Um, yeah, not, nothing much there. That is it for level three. We built a little game in Pygame. I wasn't really sure of the structure, and overall I would rate the course as going very quickly. It was informative, but it was going very quickly. So the next step is to go back to the documentation, learn what Pygame really does, I guess, and um, then go ahead and start building out a Trojan for our Project 3. I'm really excited for this. Basically, the I the idea of this Trojan is to build a game, it's going to be very simple, and create a backdoor that creates the keylogger. And with all three of those, we have our Trojan. So stay tuned for the Project 3, the final of this series. And that is it for today's video. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. That is it, and uh, see you in the next level, or project.